Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this triangle ABC such that uh, this angle A is 60 degrees and this angle B is 75 degrees and moreover this side length AB is 6 units and now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this point B onto this line AC let's go ahead and do that thing I'm gonna draw this perpendicular this is a 90 degree angle and here's our much nicer looking diagram and moreover, this angle ABD is going to be 30 degrees because the sum of all these three angles, 60 degrees, 30 degrees, plus 90 degrees is going to be 180 degrees. And since the whole angle is 75 degrees and this is 30 degrees, so this angle has got to be 45 degrees therefore this angle dbc is 45 degrees and now let's focus on this triangle abd and we know that this is a special 30 60 90 triangle and here i have copied it down this right triangle abd and here we can see that 90 degrees is our largest angle so the side opposite to this angle is going to be our largest leg. Likewise, our smallest angle is 30 degrees. So the side that is opposite to that one is going to be our smallest leg. In such kind of a special triangle, the longest leg is twice as much as the smallest leg. If this is A, this got to be 2A. And this leg has got to be a times square root of 3. And now we know that this side is 6 units. So this smallest side is going to be half of that one. That is going to be 3 units. And this side is going to be, since a is 3, so this is going to be 3 times square root of 3. Three. So therefore, our this side length AD, which is this one, this is going to be 3 units. And this side length BD, which is this side, is going to be 3 times square root of 3. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle BDC. We know that this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 45 degrees. So this angle has got to be... 45 degrees as well and since these two angles are 45 degrees each so therefore this is an isosceles triangle so therefore this side has got to be equal to this side if this side is 3 times square root of 3 this side is going to be 3 times square root of 3 as well and now let's go ahead and make an observation we know that this uh, side length is 3 units and this side length is 3 times square root of 3 so therefore this whole length is going to be the sum of these two quantities so that's going to be 3 plus 3 times square root 3 AC is 3 plus 3 times square root of 3. And moreover, our this side length BD is 3 times square root of 3. And moreover, here we can see that this AC is our base and this BD is our height of this triangle ABC as you can see over here. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base time height where our base is 3 plus 3 times square root of 3 and our height is 3 times square root of 3. So therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be a half time base in our case is 3 plus 3 times square root of 3 and then times height is 
3 times the square root of 3. And if we simplify the right hand side, area turns out to be 9 times the square root of 3 plus 27 divided by 2 and thus here is the area of the triangle ABC and here in terms of the decimal. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.